Hello everyone, welcome to this comprehensive overview of calculus by SimpleLearn. In this video, we will methodically examine the foundational concepts and principles that underpin this pivotal branch of mathematics. We begin by defining calculus itself, a field concerned with rates of change and accumulated values. Calculus consists of two primary subdivisions, differential calculus and integral calculus. Differential calculus deals with rates of change, explaining how quickly something changes at any given moment. We'll explore important ideas like limits, which describe what happens as a value approaches another value. We'll also learn about continuity and derivatives, which measure instantaneous rates of change. Integral calculus, on the other hand, focuses on adding up or accumulating values over an interval. We will define different types of integrals, definite integrals that calculate total accumulated values and indefinite integrals that represent antiderivative functions. Additionally, we will cover techniques and formulas for evaluating different integrals. Throughout this video, we will use ample real-world examples and graphical representations to illustrate and clarify these abstract mathematical concepts. By the end, you will have a thorough grasp of the foundations of both differential and integral calculus. Before we commence, just a quick info. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast-track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. If you are ready to advance your data science career, consider Simply Learn's Caltech Postgraduate Program in Data Science, ranked as the top PG data science program by AIM. In collaboration with Caltech CTME and IBM, this program equips you with essential skills in Python, machine learning, Tableau, generative AI, chat, and more. Benefit from masterclasses by Caltech instructors and IBM experts. This interactive learning experience covers critical topics through live sessions led by global practitioners. Join successful alumni who have advanced their careers and gained a competitive edge in the job market. So don't forget to check out the course in the description box below and the pinned comment. So without any further ado, let's get started. Learning Objectives Welcome to Introduction to Calculus. In this lesson, we are going to explain the concepts of calculus, define differential calculus, examine the limits, continuity, and derivative of a function, define integral calculus, and list down the differential and integral formulas. Basics of Calculus What is calculus? Calculus is the study of change. It provides a framework for modeling systems in which there is change in ways to make predictions about such models. Calculus is one of the key areas of mathematics that deals with continuous change. It is based on two key concepts, derivatives and integral. It is also referred to as infinitesimals calculus or the calculus of infinitesimals. The amounts that are virtually equal to nothing but are still not quite zero are known as the infinitesimals numbers. By a large old-style calculus is the investigation of continuous change of functions. Derivatives versus integrals. The derivative of a function is a proportion of a pace of progress of a function, which helps in finding the slope of a curve. On the other hand, integral of a function is a proportion of the area under the curve of the mathematical function. fx plotted as a function of x, derivatives, explain the function at a specific point, while integral collects the discrete benefits of a function over a range of value. Differential calculus. Differential calculus is a part of calculus that deals with the study of rates at which quantities change. Consider a scenario where x and y are two real numbers, such that y is the function of x that is y equals to f of x. If f of x is the equation of a straight line, that is a linear equation. Then the equation is represented as y equals to mx plus b. 
where m is the slope of the line, and b is the intercept on the y-axis. Change in y over change in x is what represents or helps in determining the slope or m of this line. It can also be written as delta y by delta x. The delta y over delta x is also represented as dy by dx. This is the derivative of y with respect to x, as well as the rate of change of y per unit change in x. The slope of a curvature of the graph, which varies at various points, represents the slope of an imaginary straight line, like this line, which we am drawing over here through the small graph segment x1, y1, and x2, y2. Limits. In mathematics, limits are defined as the values that a function approaches as the input approaches a certain value. The limit equation is expressed as limit as x approaches c of function of x equals a. Derivatives. Derivatives are defined as the varying rate of change of a function with respect to independent variable. The derivative of a function can be expressed as limit as x approaches h for difference between function of x plus h and function of x divided by h equals a. Derivatives are used to measure the sensitivity of one dependent variable with respect to another independent variable. Continuity. A function is continuous when there are no gaps or breaks in the graph. However, in calculus, we need to be a bit more specific in our definition of continuity. In calculus, if function is said to be continuous at x equals 2a, if and only if three of these conditions are met. First, the function is defined at x equals 2a. That is, function of a equals a real number. The limit of a function as x approaches a exists. And the limit of the function as x approaches a is equals to the function value at x equals to a. Differential formulas. Differentiation formulas can be applied to basic algebra expressions, trigonometric ratios, inverse trigonometry, and exponential terms. For example, the first derivative of x to the power n with respect to x can be calculated as n multiplied to x to the power n minus 1. This can also be read as d by dx of x to the power n equals to nx to the power n minus 1. Similarly, d by dx of a to the power x equals a to the power x log of a. d by dx of a constant is always 0. d by dx of e to the power x equals e to the power x. d by dx of sine x is cos x and d by dx of cot x is minus cos x square x. These are few examples of differential formulas. Integral calculus. Integral calculus assigns numbers to functions to describe displacement, area, volume, and other concepts arising by combining infinitesimal data. Let's consider a function f of real variable x at an interval of a and b of the real line. The definite integral is defined as the side area of the region in the x, y plane bound by the graph of f, that is this part, the x axis, and the vertical lines at x equals to a, and x equals to b. So integration is about finding the area under or enclosed within these points. An integral value is the inverse of a differential and vice versa. An integral calculus equation can be expressed as integration for limits, a to b, of function of x, dx over here. Definite integral. A definite integral is the area under the curve between two fixed limits. That means it has a specific limit for the computation of the function. 
The first fundamental theorem of calculus allows definite integrals to be computed in terms of indefinite integrals. If the uppercase F is the indefinite integral, or also called as the antiderivative, for a continuous function f of x. Then a definite integral of the function f of x in the interval a and b can be given as integral a to b of f of x dx equals antiderivative of b minus antiderivative of a. Indefinite integral. An integral which is not having any upper and lower limit is known as indefinite integral. Mathematically, if uppercase f of x is any antiderivative of lowercase f of x, then the most general derivative of f of x is called as the indefinite integral. Here, c is the constant of integration, which can be any real number and is considered as a constant function. Integration formulas. Integral formulas can be derived from differentiation formulas and are complementary to differentiation formula. For example, integral of x to the power n dx equals to x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. Integral over 1 dx equals to x plus c or integral over e to the power x dx is equals to e to the power x plus c. The differentiation of sine x was cos x. Hence, the integration of cos x dx is given as sine x plus c. Here are a few other examples of these integration formulas. Key takeaways. Differential calculus is the part of calculus that deals with the study of the rates at which quantities change. Integral calculus assigns numbers to the function to describe displacement area volume and other concepts that arise by combining infinitesimal data. A definite integral has a particular limit or cutoff for the computation of the function. Derivatives address the momentary pace of progress, often amount with respect to another. Thank you. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital programs, and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.